take a look at question number four. So Sam and you are going to paint your room together. Sam takes 10 minutes to paint 25 square feet. It takes you five minutes to paint 25 square feet. Sam says, if we paint together, then it will take 15 minutes for us to cover 50 square feet. Give an explanation to convince Sam that she is incorrect. Okay. Well, we can work together at the same time. And so let's see how much square feet we can cover in 15 minutes. So I can paint five or I can paint 25 square feet in five minutes. So if I want to see how much square feet I can paint in 15 minutes, I just need to multiply this times three. So five minutes times three would give us the 15 minutes. So I take the 25 times three, and that means I could paint 75 square feet in 15 minutes. How um, much can Sam paint? So it says Sam takes 10 minutes to paint 25 square feet. So how much can Sam paint in 15 minutes? So we have 10 minutes plus an additional five or half of that. So we have 25 plus half of 25, which is 12 and a half. Multiply this by half, multiply this by half. And so Sam could paint 37.5 square feet in 15 minutes. So if we're working together, I could paint 75 square feet and Sam could paint 37 and a half square feet. Let's combine those to see how much we could paint together. 75 plus 37.5. This is me. This is Sam. So we have 0 plus 5 is 0.5. 5 plus 7 is 12. It's two ones carry the 10. 7 plus 1 is 8 plus another 3 is 112. That means we could paint together 112.5 square feet in 15 minutes. And it says to give an explanation to convince Sam that she's incorrect because Sam said if we paint together that it would take 15 minutes for us to cover 50 square feet. But that's incorrect because we can actually cover 112.5 square feet if we paint together. So Sam is incorrect. And that's all that we need to do to solve problem number five.